Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will see how we can write a production level uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript code using this uh, HTML5 boilerplate. This is uh, the most popular boilerplate uh, repository on GitHub with 56.5k stars and it provides uh, lots of uh, features like starter template uh, for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a server setting, our webpack support for dev environment and many more things like security features and all so if you are not familiar with these term uh, don't worry we will uh, look into all these and we will create a new project and we will tweak some of the properties and uh, we will see how we can write a uh, production level uh, code using this variable also if you are new to this channel then uh, don't forget to subscribe there is a lots of awesome content uh, for you and lot more coming soon now I'm in uh, VS Code and we will create a new project using this template. So if we had Node.js installed, that's enough. We don't need to do any package installation and all. We need to just run this command. npx create HTML5 boilerplate uh, and uh, we will write our project name. and we just need to hit enter and now it will ask uh, the language which we want to select so I will say English and it will say okay uh, we have a new app uh, installed here so we need to enter into this app this is the main HTML file uh, it comes with HTML5 a boilerplate and we can have our meta tags here and then uh, it is uh, linked to the JS uh, file that we have in uh, JS folder and uh, this is also uh, linked to this style sheet that is uh, there in CSS slash uh, styles.css this file and we have uh, some webpack config like webpack common JS webpack for the dev and webpack for the production environment these uh, you don't need to worry too much about the webpack if you are not familiar with webpack uh, don't worry it is a javascript code bundler you can read more about it uh, it is used to optimize uh, the code and reduce the size of the uh, bundle that goes into a production uh, code next we have a package.json file and uh, we can put our name like uh, code looper and we have a script like start test and build and we have some dev dependencies now uh, we need to install these dev dependencies so that uh, we can run it so we just need to do npm i and it will install the dev dependencies in a node module all right so installation is uh, finished and now we have a node module here next uh, we have these three scripts right test start and build build is for the production and because it's using the prod config and this start is using the dev config so we will use start and later we'll also tweak some of its uh, properties so let's do npm start and it will start our, our development server so now you can see uh, this is our dev server and now let's go to the index.html and let's add some uh, new things like a div we'll say I'm using HTML5 boilerplate alright so now if we go to the dev server so you can see uh, the hot module reload is working and uh, we don't have to refresh and like we are getting our content here now let's go to the JS file and let's write some code here as well so we'll create a new element and we will insert it into the body and we'll see how it works so we'll create a new element we will add some inner text to it Uh, 
I will select a body of our HTML. We'll use a tag name and we'll say body. And this will give an array and we need to select the first value. And later we'll say body dot append child. And we'll insert our uh, newly created element. So now if we go to the uh, dev environment here you can see that we have welcome to code looper so we are able to use uh, our template for writing our html javascript css it is providing the web pack for dev and prod environment and it is also providing a nice structured folder approach that uh, someone use for a production level code and if you are just going to build a project with html css and javascript and highly recommend that you use something similar to this like this folder approach and uh, this web pack you can use white or parcel or something else you want to explore but you should uh, learn more about it and there is one more thing i will say like you should look into TypeScript so if you are adding JavaScript uh, try to add a uh, TypeScript along with it for type safety now let's test this build folder like uh, it will create uh, optimized uh, bundle code and uh, it will create in uh, probably the dist folder I think let's go to common.js yeah yeah you can see that it will create the output in a uh, dist folder And we'll say npm run build now it will uh, create yeah you can see here we have this now you can see we have this uh, dist here and uh, this is having css uh, javascript this is the bundled javascript and like we have our html so even if you are just beginner and learning html css and javascript while you can try different things uh, you can also try to understand how uh, a production level code is written in big enterprises and like how exactly you will write if you will go to a job so yeah look into it and explore more about it we'll talk more about all these things in the future videos do put down your thoughts in the comments and what exactly you are learning and was this video useful for you or not so we can talk more about it uh, see you soon in a new video